Hello, welcome to Linda Legs Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest that don't for someone else to appreciate. All right. All right. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. All right. I like to say thank you for, for all of your guys' um, super thanks your paypal donations your cash apps as well and your venmos does not go unnoticed and it is appreciated mm, got a nice burn listen for whoever this message is for you need to know that um It's up from here. Okay? No matter what you're going through right now, you need to know it's up from here. Okay? I'm getting something here about like strength training. Some of you could be going to the gym, um, lifting a lot of weights or something. Or... Is that what you do for strength training? You lift weights? I don't know. Um, or there's something here about like you um, climbing up a hill, right? And it's like day after day, you keep feeling like you have to climb up this hill or you, or you are forced to climb up this hill. And it's like, you've gotten to the point of where climbing up, climbing up this hill is not as hard as it was or something. Maybe at first, like, you were, like, huffing and puffing and it was hard for you to breathe or to catch your breath. But now, like... Once you get to the top of the hill, you're not as sweaty. You're not as out of breath, okay? Something's something has become not as difficult. What was once hard is now easy or something. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're getting ready for the next level or your life is about to move up a level or something like that. I also feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you guys could be noticing that your 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 appetite is not as um it's not as there as it used to be or something. Some of you could be not like feeling the need to eat at this time or um or not feeling they need to eat like heavy meals or something something like that could be going on sorry i feel real spacey right now i just keep getting something about like I just keep seeing someone take off their backpack like i don't know there was something that you were carrying on your back and now it's gone okay i don't know who this is for this is for somebody i don't know child it's gonna <sighs> what's going on spirit <laughs> what the heck is going on what do they need to hear at this time okay so we got deception we got deception and envy so you got a deceptive envious ass mother that's watching you okay they're watching you um, climb up this hill or there was someone here that was watching you go through some sort of difficulty and now they see that like you gained strength from it and they envious of it maybe this is somebody here they didn't want to see you grow okay i just heard the word ferocious what the fuck does that mean okay so it's 138 right now 
138. I don't know if you guys can see that. Happy Saturday, by the way. Um, the number 38 could be significant for some of you. Oh, I gotta charge this. I don't know if I'm even saying this right. I think this is furious. Furious. Okay, that's not what I was gonna say. Define ferocious. Here's the definition of ferocious, savagely fierce, cruel, or violent. Okay. So that's, that could be going on for some of you. You got someone here who's very cruel, um, possibly violent, fierce. Interesting. It says, of a conflict characterized by or involving aggression, bitterness, and determination. A ferocious argument. Extreme and unpleasant. Yikes. Listen, y'all. Interesting. Because <clears throat> before, when I was setting up, this deck fell on the floor. Along with my ancestors' deck. Okay. Um, for some of you, you guys could be getting messages or signs and symbols from your ancestors letting you know that there's somebody here whose emotions are like going to explode or you're dealing with someone who's like about to get into some form of rage that you need to be aware of, okay? Um, one of the main cards that was, was landed up, facing up, okay, on the floor was the police station card. Let me see if I can find it. So somebody here might end up going to the police or um, it was the police card and the love child card that both were up. This card, the love child card, and this card. Love child and police station. So I don't know if there's like some sort of argument that you might be having with somebody that you share a child with. Okay, there could be something here about CPS. There could be something here about, um, what's it called? Uh, Amber. There could be an Amber Alert or something here. I don't know. Maybe someone's going to run off with a child or um, there could be something here about a kidnapping. I'm not sure. But there, there's someone here that's upset because something that they once, something that they thought was going to be difficult or made hard for you or caused some sort of stagnation or delays for you. It's not happening the way they thought it would happen. And now somebody here might be going to the extremes um, and allowing their negative emotions to take over, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Confirmation. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear? Okay, so we have Material Harvest number nine. So I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, material harvest number nine is here. Someone here could be born in 1979 or 1997. Um, someone here could be a life path nine or a life path seven. <clears throat> life path nines have very weird life paths. Um, life path nines are said to be like humanitarians of sorts, but they could also be, um, the opposite of that. Okay. Someone here could be the life path seven. That's someone here who's who's who tends to be um, a lone wolf. Someone who's very um, someone who's very intelligent, a genius, basically. But this is like I don't know. I, I found, someone here thinks they're an evil genius. Someone there's an evil genius here that thought they would be able to steal some sort of material harvest or something that's yours or something that's destined for you. Something here that's, um, I 
I want to say this, but I don't want to like... <clears throat> Someone here definitely has the government involved or something or the court system involved when it comes to you. This this person does. This person. I feel like this is the person that's going to call the police on somebody. Or the, the authorities or something here. But someone's doing it out of cruelty or something. Or someone could be coming or could be going to the authorities and lying saying that you did something violent or something or you or they're they're afraid that you're gonna do something violent someone here has like a purple aura i don't know this could be you or this could be you or someone else i'm also getting something here about like the sun devil i don't i don't know what that means Okay, so it says Arizona State Sun Devils football. So somebody here could be from Arizona. Someone here could be on a football team. I don't know. The head coach is named Kenny. Someone's name could be Kenny. Someone's name could be Jim. I don't know. Jaden, Sam, Jeffrey, Doug. Someone here could be an athlete. Someone here could be in college. I don't know. Something like that. Maybe someone here is trying to sabotage someone who's on the, on the same sports team as them or something. I don't know what the hell this is. Maybe somebody here thought somebody was on their team and they're not. Or you're about to, or maybe this is you. You're going to find out somebody here is not on your team <clears throat> or doesn't have your back like you think they do. Ooh, we got heartache and loss as the future outcome what the hell is this look so we got heartache and loss number three someone here could be a life path three we have pride at the bottom of the deck it says i love myself and i see myself in everyone there's someone i don't like the way i don't like how this is going I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I'm tired of seeing this fucking card come out. It's it's this has been a repeating theme that this card just comes out like the first card out on a lot of readings I do. Someone here could be 37 or 39 years old. Someone here could be born in 1993. Somebody's allowing their pride to get in the way of being honest or telling some sort of truth here, okay? We have honesty. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can accept it from myself. Maybe the truth about how something ended or the truth about an ending of someone's life or an ending of someone's career, an ending of something. It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Someone's trying to put a death or an ending to somebody here that is of service or someone needing or somebody helping someone else. It says, I feel good when I can help others. Someone's trying to put an ending to a partnership or two people coming together because somebody doesn't somebody doesn't want someone's life to be balanced out. What? And it all starts with someone being honest. Or someone needs to be honest about some about somebody lying in court. I don't something like that, child. Someone doesn't want to be wrong about something, or someone doesn't want to look like a bad guy or a bad girl, or someone doesn't want to look like the bad guy in general. Someone's name could be An Angela. Or angel or something someone's name could start with an a 
Ariana, Ar um, Adrian, I don't know. See how that fell out? That's wild. We got bullies. Someone's a bully here. Whoever this person is. This this bully thinks they're they're um they're real smart. This I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, we got untouchable. Okay. This bully could be realizing that you're untouchable. I'm also getting this bully could have the mentality of feeling like They can get away with anything and won't get caught. This could be someone who's very arrogant. Yeah, this is someone here that continued to cross your boundaries. Someone could be bullying this black sheep here. You could be the black sheep. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Who is this bully? Can we get a zodiac sign, please, or a sign? Thank you. Okay, so this bully could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat. I don't. I'm telling you, I don't know in whose universe this this is true for, but it's coming out here. Okay, or this is you and you have this Chinese zodiac sign, but you gotta flip it where it needs to go. The person who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat is a bully or they cross somebody's boundaries, it keeps coming out. Or somebody here could have um, lied on you in one of these years, maybe back in 2015, or even as far as 2003. I don't know. Somebody here could have lied on you about something to break up a twin flame union. We got a twin flame here. <clears throat> Someone here could be bullying your twin flame or you're the or you. Because someone here admires you. We have admirer. There's someone here who admires you. Someone didn't like that somebody admired you. Okay? We got soulmate. This could have been your twin flame soulmate, so a friend of theirs. This could have been a family member of theirs. It could have been even an ex of theirs. Okay? They could have came in and gave this person some sort of um, deceptive or faulty advice. They could have gave them some fucked up guidance that they purposely knew was going to put them down the wrong road. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the tiger. Note the date. This could be you or somebody else, child. Flip it where it needs to go. Something here about the year 2022 is very significant for somebody. Um, something here about fig trees. Someone likes eating fresh figs. Don't wa uh, don't wasp end up being inside fig figs. Something about a wasp or wasps. We keep I keep picking that up too. Something about a wasp. I don't know. What do we have? What do we have in Cheryl Harvest? Courthouse. I'm telling you, somebody went. Somebody went to the court, okay? Somebody went to some sort of form of the law to get someone caught up in something. Yeah, they planned something in court against you. We have they planned it. And if this isn't a literal courthouse, this could be just something that has been um, judged or some sort of final decision here. We have don't go. They planned it. Don't go. They planned it. Don't go. Don't go, courthouse. Or maybe someone's trying to get you not to go to some sort of court. Date. Show up to court.
stagnation, exhaustion, feeling restless, burnt out. So there's somebody here that now... <clears throat> Someone here, whoever this deceptive, envious ass person is, they're now they're now burnt out or something like that, or they're feeling restless about something. Like they can't sleep well at night because of some bullshit they did, some sort of lie they told in court or lied and told to authorities. I'm also getting too though. This is somebody here that wanted you to um to stop your movement forward. Okay, this is somebody here that wanted you to um, have some sort of stagnation when it comes to your material harvest. Okay, somebody wanted to put a rest to that, to the star, or put a rest to your healing, or your purpose, or your faith. This could be an Aquarius, or I'm speaking to one. Flip it where it needs to go. What is that material harvest? Yeah, you're about to have some sort of wish granted here. It's already been ordered in the court for you to be granted something here. New moon. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be manifesting something here. There, There's somebody here that's trying to manifest you not... For you to go into a different direction... Someone's trying to get somebody to not balance something out with another individual or give them an, e an equal give and take or to show them that they care or, so or somebody here is hoping that you'll be generous to them. Someone's trying to manifest you to be generous to them. What the fuck is going on, child? So somebody could have lied on you to authorities. Or gave someone the wrong advice in order to bully you, stag st stop your forward movement, stop you from being able to manifest or something like that. Or stop you from your twin flame union or something like that. But it's backfiring. Now someone's trying to manifest you to give to them because they can't stop what God's already been giving you or what's for you. What are we going to don't go? Somebody, I'm telling you, some, something about someone's emotions are going to explode. We have dynamite here. If you go somewhere, someone here is going to try to destroy something for you. Okay, this could be a Leo or this is something that a Leo is trying to do to someone. Or you're a Leo. Flip it where it needs to go or an Aries. Someone's a fire sign. Or someone's trying to break up someone a commitment someone made to someone with the dynamite and the diamond. Something about your purity. It's like someone here can't break you or something. You know how like when you, you know when you take like a hammer to a diamond, it doesn't break. Or that could be representative of like the bond you have with someone. It's unbreakable and someone's been trying to break this. Someone's trying not to have someone go towards you. Even though this person, you are, you are part of their desires that they want to manifest. You're somebody here that they don't want to give up on. Um, somebody wants to start a new cycle with you. And someone could be heartbroken that someone wants to... This is the same... Why do we have heartache and loss? I feel like this message just keeps coming out, okay? Because these are just updates for you guys. Listen, you're going to have your union. If you know you're on a twin flame union or you know um, you have a twin flame, right? Don't lose hope. 
basically. There's going to be some tomfoolery shenanigans happening here. But it's not going to... It's not going to work out how the enemies think it will. Okay. We got heartache going on. We got nighttime. So some someone here was trying to hide how they really feel about something here. Someone wants someone to be repeating some sort of toxic loop. And there's someone who doesn't want that. They want a new cycle. Yes. Whoever you're thinking about, yes, it's probably them. This is someone who's toxic as fuck. So you have a very toxic person that's in this heartache and loss energy. <clears throat> because you're about to be with somebody. Maybe there's someone here that's going to set aside their pride and they're going to come in and be honest with how they truly feel about you. Okay. I don't know. Um, who is this toxic as fuck person that we need to be aware of? This person could be a Pisces that's very toxic. Or I'm speaking to a Pisces and you're dealing with someone in this situation. Who is this to uh, toxic person here, Spirit? This person could be a Virgo who's very toxic. Okay, that um, doesn't want two people to be together. This could be someone's false flame. Okay, flip it where it needs to go. Or I'm speaking to a Virgo or a Pisces that's dealing with a toxic ass person. Why do we have toxic ass motherfucker? <laughs> we got twin flame. For some of you, you got a toxic ass person that's connected to your twin flame. This could be, um, you guys could be dealing with a masculine that lives at a distance from you. That's your twin flame, or I'm speaking to a masculine energy and you're distant from your divine feminine. Flip over years ago. But there's somebody's friend, acquaintance, or coworker that's involved in keeping two people apart. Or it could be somebody's friend, acquaintance, or coworker that is toxic as fuck that's trying to keep two people apart. Okay? Somebody's upset because someone is saying yes to the twin flame journey. Someone's deciding to say yes to being honest. Okay? That's an, and saying yes to ending something here. Maybe saying yes to ending some sort of toxic partnership that they're in. <clears throat> saying yes to growing, healing, something like that. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this. Okay? And I feel like somebody ending something is going to cause someone else to explode. This person might retaliate and decide to... Um, Call the police on someone. Okay. So like I was saying before, somebody here, um, someone doesn't want to look like the bad person, right? Someone doesn't want to look like the bad guy, so to speak, or the bad girl, right? So this person might try to spin a story to make the person who's deciding to leave the toxic person to make them look like they're the toxic one, okay? Yeah, somebody here has graduated. We have big accomplishments. Luck, joy, content with life, feeling proud. It says challenge, fortune, knowledge. You will shine happy. Someone's choosing to be happy. Someone's choosing peace and prosperity. Um, someone's choosing to fight for a cause someone's choosing to be loyal to somebody here someone's choosing to stand up for their beliefs or this is something that you did you stood up for your beliefs you held your boundaries and you're you're going to receive some sort of success from that or you passed some sort of test or you you learned the much needed lesson you needed to learn and now you're graduating to the next level something is not going to be as hard as it was before um, especially if you're on a twin flame journey, it's like you, you leveling up is also helping your twin level up. So something about that, of, about mirroring experiences could be happening. <clears throat> like for instance, okay, so... Your person, say say you are minding your business, drinking your water, not really socializing with others, right? 
Maybe the only time you're around people is when you go to the store or something because you need to buy certain shit. Um, but your twin is like dealing with some toxic shit. You could be at the store minding your business and you could be mirroring this kind of like almost the same type of energy they're experiencing as well. So this could be like, say they're getting into a fight with someone who's toxic or something and they're trying to get away from someone. You might be at the store and you might have somebody like in front of you in the line start yelling at the people in front of them or at the cashier or making a big fuss being like i want to speak to the manager da 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 stuff like that if you start experiencing shit like that and you somehow are caught in the middle and you're like just it's probably because you're mirroring some sort of same experience your um your twin is experiencing or something like that that's for some of you not all y'all why do we have um something like that something's going on or you could be picking up on someone's emotions. I don't know. What do we got deception and envious for? Yes, this deceptive and envious person is about to be exposed. And they don't want to be exposed. Okay? I'm also getting like this, this envious ass, deceptive ass, lying ass person is upset because your wish is coming true. It's it's already being revealed to them that you your future is going to be smooth sailing. Okay? Someone's also upset because you have all your energy. They don't like that. They're mad about this. Someone's also mad because they couldn't mind fuck you out of who you are. They're, you guys could have been dealing with like a master manipulator of the mind, okay? This could have been someone here who was like, thought they had a PhD in gaslighting. Someone here was trying to gaslight you out of you, you remembering who the fuck you are. Someone wanted you to question who you are, what your purpose is. Some shit like that. This person is mad that you have a strong sense of self. Child, please. This could be a Leo. I could be speaking to a Leo. If this happened to, flip it where it needs to go. You guys could be seeing 777 a lot. This card says 21 on it. Something here about the year 2021 could be significant as well. I keep picking up numbers divided or numbers um, multiplied by three. So something here about the power of threes of significance or the number three. Yeah, we got Scorpio here. We have Pisces. Okay, so I don't know. This is a lot of emotion here as well. You could be someone who's perceived as someone who's very selfless. Okay. Someone who has some sort of unique perspective of life. You could be 34 years old or 43. You could be someone who's very psychic, very intuitive, someone who's a natural healer. You could be someone who's very in tuned with your emotions, okay? You could be someone who's very honest, very courageous, ambitious, passionate, loyal. You could be someone who's very independent as well, okay? Someone here could be 42 years old, don't have to be. I'm also getting like there could be something being exposed about a Pisces or a Scorpio or about a secret enemy here, a frenemy wanting revenge. Or someone's realizing there's someone around them that the that um had some sort of hidden intentions for them, someone who was envious, and they're deciding to cut this person away. Or you guys have someone around you that's very pessimistic and untrustworthy. And they're blocking some sort of material harvest from coming to you. That's another thing that I'm getting. This could be something that you're discovering or your, or your twin is. Why do we have heartache and loss? Listen, for some of you, like with these readings, I'm realizing like when it comes to the twin flame journey, one twin is is more times than not more advanced than the other. And the other one has to catch up. Um... So sometimes when I'm reading and I say, oh, you guys might need to blah, 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 this, I could be referring to your twin. What do we have um, if you're someone who's already, if you're the advanced one or something? What do we have heartache and loss? So just keep that in mind, okay? So 
someone's delusional whoever this person who has who's toxic as fuck and is feeling like they're losing something because someone's deciding to 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 be honest with you and to mend some sort of relationship this toxic ass person is delusional they believe their own lies this person could be stuck in some form of addiction this could be your copycat as well This is somebody here as well that does that gives people a uh, backhanded compliments. Tell me more. What do you have? Heard of you Someone's having heartache and loss because you're someone who's authentic. Someone's also mad because someone wants to come in and be authentic with you and express themselves and have the courage to come in and support you. Someone's mad because somebody had a spiritual awakening. Someone's also mad because someone's destined to have wealth. Someone here, this could have been the person that tried to put you in a jar and they're realizing their jar, their jar magic ain't working on you. Someone thought they captured you. Somebody was delusional as fuck. They think they're God or they thought they could play God in your life. Someone thought they could put you in in a jar and save you for later. Or or keep someone with them or something. I don't know. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear. The camera's here. And the something's on me. Do, 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 yeah. Why do we got? Does it? Can you tell me more? Someone could have lied in court about some sort of home or something, or this could be your neighbor. Or somebody's neighbor might be moving the neighborhood, moving out of the neighborhood or something, or. Or you might find out your neighbor lost their job. They're experiencing some sort of endings because they were partnering up with somebody. Or there's somebody here that has to move out or someone's moving out and someone's mad about this. Someone's detaching from another person saying goodbye. Or ever since you walked away from someone and said goodbye, they've been doing black magic on you to make you lose your job, to make you experience heartache and loss. This could be somebody that's married, don't have to be. You're about to get some sort of good news here as well. There could be someone envious of you that's in a partnership. Or a business partnership with somebody. I feel so spacey, but it feels good. Um. Yeah, you're about to receive some sort of gift here, okay? And somebody's really upset about this. You're about to receive some gift and it's from the courthouse. There's an official person that's going to tell you about this. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear. Let's get our big Bertha, shall we? Shall we? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time? What do they need to hear at this time? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear at this time? Listen, guys, I'm thinking about doing a live tonight. I'm scared. <laughs> um, I need to stop saying that. But no, for real. But the, the only reason why I'm like weary about it is because I don't know how well my internet is going to be. You know, it's, there's nothing more frustrating than doing a live and getting into the zone of like doing a reading and then like your reception or the internet cuts out. Like it's, that is the most frustrating thing <laughs> in my opinion. Okay. So I don't know. We'll see. We have this too shall pass. So whatever you're going through, like I was saying in the beginning of the reading, whatever you're going through right now, just know that like. You got something beautiful coming in. This is just, this ain't, you're leveling up, baby boo. Tell me more. Just keep your thoughts positive. What else they need to hear? Okay, look, you're moving on up a level. You see that? You're moving on up 
a level. Something about somebody's grandma is of significance. We got great investment, okay? For some of you, your grandma left you something. You about to find out about this? Maybe your grandma left something to you because she felt like you were you you were the best bet. You're the best person to handle something because of your personality or or something like that. Tell me more what's going on. We got witch doctor. So there's some sort of witch doctor here that somebody hired to try to send you some sort of negative energy to make you get into the form of like stagnation or what's that card? Somebody could have tried to send energy to where is it? Yeah, to make you feel exhausted, um, to dormant your abilities, okay? To make people, um, to make you feel like abandoned, I feel like, burned out, okay? Somebody, somebody tried to do that. This could have been a water sign <clears throat> that tried to do this, or there's a water sign witch doctor that's a part of this. Or your grandma's a water sign or you're a water sign. Flip it where it needs to go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? We have time to get back out there and socialize. For some of you, you're being told to go back out there. Your grandma could want you to go out there and socialize. She got you. She got your back. We got orders to clock out early on the job. So somebody here could have been fucking with you at work. This could be a boss or a manager or something like that. Or a coworker that was involved in lying on you so you can get in trouble at work. We have hidden drug money. Okay, so there's something here about hidden drug money that is going to be revealed here. You do, you definitely got um, a greedy family members that are involved in this situation. For some of you, not all of you, okay? Not all of you are going through this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? We have lied on you. Yeah, so somebody here definitely lied on you either in in a court setting or they went to a police station and lied they lied somewhere on their on a document they lied somewhere okay holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more what's going on we have people are probably not happy with their lives if they're busy discussing yours so someone here is definitely discussing they're discussing you they really thought it was a great investment for you to like clock out early on your job your mission your purpose is what i feel like this is but this is severely backfiring on somebody we have i need your voice so somebody here needs your voice for real we have don't eat their food poison witchcraft etc so there's someone here that's trying to poison you your grandma if she's passed over she could be trying to warn you of someone here wanting you to go out with them somewhere this is the same person that lied on you this person might have a plan to poison you or put some form of witchcraft, something, into your food that they got from a witch doctor that they paid. That's for some of you, not all y'all, okay? Or your grandma was a witch doctor, depending on your guys' storyline, okay? Not everyone's grandma was a good grandma. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. <clears throat> Tell me more, spirit. What's going on? We have invasion of privacy. Someone thought it was a great investment to invade your privacy, but someone here about to get fucked over. Um, we have J. Someone's first motto or last name could start with a J. This could be you or someone else. We have police will find you, so the police are going to find you. Or someone lied on you to the police so that the police could go investigate you or try to find where you're at or some shit. Oh, I'm so tired of people. I really am. <laughs> we have moving out of state. So somebody here, maybe some of you have been thinking about moving out of state because you're tired of people invading your fucking privacy. You might need to. I don't know. Or there's somebody here trying to move out of state so they don't get in trouble for doing this to you. We have impersonating an officer. So there's someone here who's trying to impersonate an officer. There could be a witch doctor trying to impersonate a witch, a, a witch, blah, an officer. <laughs> Or there's someone here just trying to pre pretend to be something that they're not that that is around you. This person's first motto or last name could start with a J. Or this is your name. Flip it where it needs to go. We have New World Order. Some sort of fall of religion or fall of beliefs is of significance. Or someone here could have been trying to say that you are... Um, maybe someone here could have lied on you and said that you're, 
you're trying to um change the order of things someone here could be saying that like you're a you're um a threat to society let's just say that this is someone who's a fucking liar or someone here is about to be exposed for being a liar someone here could be a cancer gemini cusp we have guilty by association someone here is about to become guilty of association this could be a scorpio okay or you're a scorpio flip it where it needs to go child tell me more spirit 1244 could be significant for some of you you guys can see that angel number a lot we have yes okay so yes keeps coming out yes somebody lied on you yes there's something here about your grandma yes someone here could have poisoned you or they're planning on doing so let me see who lied on them someone who has the chinese zodiac sign of the snake could have lied on you or someone here who was simply a snake that was lying on you or someone was lying on someone who has the chinese zodiac sign of the snake or someone was lying saying you were the snake or you snake someone someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of the pig that was lied on or this person lied on someone tell me more who lied Someone here who's trying to offer you some sort of resources or stability is the person that lied on you or is the person that's gonna, um, or someone here could have been trying to pay your twin flame to lie on you. This could have been a Leo for some of you. Your twin flame could be a Leo or someone here is just going to be getting exposed in general. Okay. Or maybe at one point somebody thought it was going to make them happy if they decided to lie on you and now they're feeling bad or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Tell me more, spirit. What's going on? Somebody here could be um, suicidal. Okay. Or somebody wanted you to be. Confirmation. We got dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with an L. This could be you or someone else okay we have convicted someone here might be getting convicted of something or they're afraid of getting convicted of a crime that's why they're going to decide to move out of state we have trauma bonding there's a couple there's people here who are trauma bonding uh, or teaming up together in order to hurt you in some way now they want to self-delete we have this someone could have hired someone to take you out okay <clears throat> You could have had dreams about somebody trying to take you out. We have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp. Okay. There could be a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp that's going to be guilty by association. We got wrongly convicted. Someone tried to get you wrongly convicted of something. This person is super obsessed with you. There's something here about a corrupt organization that could be obsessed with you as well. Who's obsessed with them? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who's obsessed with them? What do they need to know at this time? This could be someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit that's obsessed with you. Or this is your Chinese zodiac sign and someone's obsessed with you, baby. This is someone here that doesn't know if they love you today or hate you tomorrow. The person that's obsessed with you. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat. I'm telling you, this keeps coming out. Or this could be somebody who's obsessed with your twin flame. Or obsessed with you being in a twin flame journey. I don't know, child. Okay. You got a bully here that's going to be exposed. You got someone here that doesn't want to be looked at as somebody who's a bad person, but they do bad things. Um, I don't understand why people do that. Like, oh, you're making me look bad. But it's like you're just speaking your truth. You're speaking the truth. And it's just like they just want you to shut up. Like, They're like, let me abuse you. And be quiet about it. Like, who does that? Who does that? Let's get out these cards just to see what we need to hear. 
the, this deck is by the pretty oracle okay she's also another youtuber okay another tarot card reader on youtube you can check her out i think she's hilarious and this deck is really awesome too especially if you feel like you're being spiritually attacked okay and you're trying to figure out like um what would be the best way to go about combating some sort of spiritual attack i would definitely pick up this deck okay you can go to her youtube channel i'm pretty sure she has it listed somewhere in her description box all right gotta show the love okay let's see let's see holy spirit holy angels what do they need to hear at this time when it comes to this witch doctor situation what do they need to do we have guardian angel pretty much nothing because you were protected it says light for guidance it says protection of children and spiritual strength okay so i don't know maybe you need to call upon your guardian angel or call upon archangel michael or light an Arch archangel michael candle or or one of those guardian angel candles you know where it has like the angel and then there's two little babies the one you get it like Vartha, or the one that you get it like Superior. You know what I'm talking about. Or the 99 cent store. What else do they need? What else do they need, Spirit? It says a spell has been broken. So, whatever spell somebody paid a witch doctor to do on you, it's been broken, child. All right, we have cursed item. It says, refrain from accepting gifts at this time. Dispose of anything suspicious. So somebody here could have definitely sent you some sort of cursed item or, or was trying to give you one, or maybe they did. Maybe you threw it out because you were suspicious of it. This is your confirmation that you did the right thing. Or if you still have it and you're suspicious of it, you might need to throw it away or, or take it to a pawn shop or some shit. I don't know. We have wear evil eye jewelry or protective am amulets so some of you are being guided to wear some sort of protective amulet or or one of the nazars this that that right there i don't know if you can see my finger this that thing it looks like that <laughs> it looks like this <laughs> okay What else? What else do they need to hear, Spirit? Mm. I'm also getting there's something very telling about somebody's reaction to something, okay? You need to pay attention to it. It's like, um, because I keep hearing, if you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear, right? So it's like, there's somebody here that you're going to notice that is going to be in fear about some sort of truth being revealed, right? And you got to ask yourself why. I don't know if this is like, <clears throat> this is somebody here who's pretending to either be your friend, pretending to be on your side, pretending to be your lover, something. Your business partner or something. Your, your, um, somebody. Something about someone's reaction. Or maybe this is something that already happened. You, something kind of like, um, made the alarm bells go off in your head about somebody's reaction to something reaction to the truth or something i don't know let's get out the book we gotta doubt it we have doubted somebody wants you to doubt something we got sagittarius Someone here is trying to shoot their shot. Someone wants someone to feel like they... Someone wants to doubt it. I don't know. Doubt what, spirit? We have Pisces. I believe. Somebody wants you to doubt what you believe when it comes to what you want to go after or whatever you're determined about. Because Sagittarius is all about determination. It's about freedom. It's about ambition. It's about... Shooting for the stars. Dreaming big. Also, a lot of um, Sagittarius's are naturally optimistic. So something here about someone doesn't want you to believe optimistically about your goals. 
where you're trying to go, what you're trying to be, what you're trying to do. Don't doubt it, okay? But somebody else wants you to doubt it. Tell me more, spirit. Like, it's like, like I was saying in the beginning of the read, like someone here wants you to lose your appetite or something for, for something that you're passionate about or someone that you're passionate about or this is something that's happening to somebody else, okay, regarding you. What the hell going on? What do we need to hear about these motherfuckers? We have out in out in the open, spiritual disconnection, no connection, no protection, no guidance, helpless, intuition, lost, vulnerability. Somebody here is lost. Someone here no longer has spiritual protection, okay? Yikes. Or this is what somebody wanted to happen to you and now it's happening to them. What's the golden rule? Treat others how you want to be treated. Why do we have, um, who the fuck out here losing their protection? Losing my religion. We got rat. Someone here who has the Chinese zodiac sign of a rat could be losing their connection to the most high or some. So this could be someone who has some form of spiritual connection with, um, or once did. Okay. Somebody went rogue. Someone here could be an Aries or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart. This could be you or someone else. There could have been an Aries, um, going back and forth to people about your information or something or trying to use your vulnerability against you. I could be speaking to an Aries that this is something that it happened to y'all or an Aries is doing this to somebody or someone here who's simply not an Aries and they're just someone who was in, com in competition with you or someone here that was real selfish or they did something out of some sort of moody ass mood. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah, this is someone here that like loved you one second, then hates you the next because they just felt that way. They're like, okay, I don't like them now. So let me just, let me use something against them. This could be a friend, an acquaintance, or a coworker. Or you guys have a friend or acquaintance or a coworker that was in competition with you or your twin flame did. And now whoever that friend is, they're losing some sort of connection with the divine. You hear the... You hear the ambulance? It's a state of emergency. Someone's gonna call the cops on somebody, dude. Tell me more. We have divine protectors. You are divinely protected at this time, okay? Someone's under judgment and God is intervening at this time. Okay, like this is like gonna be a big like like daddy in the sky is like saying no. Like he's putting his foot down. He's putting his foot down and he about to he about to smack somebody <laughs> and put them in spiritual jail. This person's gonna see nothing but cloudy days, okay, and darkness for what they try to do to you, okay? And I refer to God as he, because I believe God is my, sti my sky daddy. It helps heal my daddy wounds, okay? God, in my opinion, God is not a he nor a she. God is all there will ever be and all there ever was god has no beginning nor an end something here is about to shock somebody what was i saying something about something being on somebody back maybe someone was trying to make you feel guilty or something in the past or they're they going to try to i don't know but Somebody, somebody feels bad for trying to fuck you over or trying to break two people apart or um, something. Somebody's now feeling bad. We got the cheater. Someone here could have been lying and telling someone you were a cheater. Someone here could have been saying that you're, you're used up goods or someone was trying to say that um, you're a femme fatale or something. I don't know, child. Someone here could have been saying that you're, you're not to be trusted. You're the wrong person to be trusted. You're a backstabber. You play games, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but turns out the person that was actually saying this about you is the person who's actually like this. Someone who's superficial or someone who tricked them or someone feels tricked by somebody. 
Are they... I don't know. We got injuries. Someone here could be getting hurt. Okay. They could be falling and slipping down some stairs. Feeling clumsy, clumsy distracted. Uh, or they might have to call the ambulance because they... I don't know. Something might happen, y'all. We got job loss at the bottom of the deck. So everything that's happening to this person is what they wanted to happen to you. So... That's, that's what's going down. It's going down. Okay. What else do they need to hear, spirit? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, what else do they need to hear? What else do they need to hear regarding this situation, Spirit? Please and thank you. We have hot, hot head. So yeah, someone here, they're, I told you, they're going to get into a state of rage or something here. Someone's going to lose their temper. They're, you guys could be dealing with someone who has anger issues. Listen, I'm not trying to harp on you. If you're someone who's currently working on your anger issues, I'm not harping on you, okay? I'm a Taurus. I'm prone to being getting angry as well, okay? <laughs> But the thing is, uh, this is somebody here that does not have a handle on it. This is somebody here that, um, mm, tip, they're a ticking time bomb or something like that, okay? I don't know, something like that, okay? I'm also getting, like, there's someone here that's upset because you're not upset. Someone's upset because you haven't been like this. They wanted you to get like this. That's how someone feels powerful or something. Someone feels powerful when they're able to get people in this energy or something like that. It, it's, it's about like dominance and control. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Tell me more. We have sleeping princess. Someone's mad because you're sleeping like a princess. <laughs> or a king or whatever. Someone don't like that you out here um, sleeping well or getting your much needed beauty sleep. I'm also getting like somebody's mad because of your attractiveness as well. Maybe there was somebody here that wanted you to... Um, procrastinate when it comes to taking care of yourself or self-care okay somebody i'm also getting like you could be someone who's on top of your shit somebody wanted you to just like sleep the, your whole day off okay somebody wanted you to um like i was saying before put you in a state of stag stagnation stagnation is that even a word <laughs> someone wanted you to be stagnated they wanted you to procrastinate on certain things, okay? And they mad because you keep going, okay? This could have been somebody here who was trying to put you on blast, trying to make you look like somebody you're not. So, for instance, somebody here could have been going around lying on you, saying you're you're lazy, you you don't take care of shit, you're not responsible, uh, blase, blase, blase. You're not to be trusted, blase, 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 okay? And then went to a witch doctor to try to pay someone to make you be in that energy, but I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you, you renewed your energy or didn't even touch you because you're fucking protected. That's what I'm getting. We have imposter. There was someone here that wanted to be perceived or viewed like you were perceived or viewed. And then manufacturing you to be like them or something like that. We have fraud, stolen identity, faking it. So you got somebody here who's an imposter. And they're mad at you. Okay. Someone here is a bullshitter, a deceptive ass person. Someone who's very dishonest is very upset. They're mad because they don't want you to be with somebody else. They're trying to scare off other people or someone's trying to scare you off. This could be um, a woman or a man. We have viral. Someone here is about to go viral. Or you could be someone who's gaining popularity. Or there's about to be um, information about this imposter. Or someone, information about this person faking it or being um, a fraud in some sense. 
it's going around quickly or it will go around quickly that someone here was either trying to pretend to be you or someone who has stolen your identity or whatever whatever it's about to it's about to be revealed and someone doesn't want that to be revealed we have red flagged it says warning signs take heed risky situations so you need to be um cautious of someone wanting to socialize with you or wanting you to go out because this person's really gonna act out when you end up showing up to this person i feel like someone here could be african-american and someone else here could be hispanic that's for some of you not all y'all that's all i'm seeing someone here could have blue hair this could be you or someone else someone here could have blue eyes um someone here could have hazel eyes who is this person who's a hothead bullshitter the hothead bullshitter so this hothead bullshitter wants to come in and give you some sort of advice or this is the fake friend that's being exposed for giving the wrong advice to somebody and bullshitting and being dishonest to someone who is this person that's hot tempered this could be a capricorn so there could have been a capricorn here that's going to be revealed for being dishonest or um for doing something risky this could have been somebody here who was trying to mirror you or someone here that didn't want you and another person to mirror each other's energy or something like this or this is the imposter okay or whoever's obsessed with you is the imposter flip over needs to go child it doesn't have to be a capricorn yeah be careful about somebody coming in to offer you some sort of resources or stability or something like that okay because um this is this is a risk that you shouldn't take this person could have the chinese zodiac sign of the tiger that wants to come in and offer you resources and stability that you need to be cautious of because there's a catch to it okay we have false flame maybe somebody wants to give you counterfeit money or somebody wants to give you something attached to some sort of money maybe the money is cursed the resources is cursed the health the help of whatever it is could be cursed or has a catch someone's trying to get you caught up in something yeah, someone's sneaking around, acting shady as fuck. Yeah, you got someone stalking the fuck out of you. You got someone stalking you obsessively. This is a fatal attraction situation. Um, someone doesn't want you to be with anyone else. Whoever's stalking you, they don't want to see you with no one else. They don't want to have, they don't want to hear that someone's touching you or some shit like that. Um, you could be someone who's authentic. You could have told someone it is what it is like you could have you could have told someone the cold hard truth you could have told you could have been honest with somebody and was like nah i'm good not interested goodbye and this person's been stalking you ever since <laughs> i can't who the fuck is this stalker spirit can we get a sign this person has the chinese zodiac sign of the goat is stalking you who is stalking them spirit can we get this person could be an Aries. There's an Aries or someone who has Aries somewhere in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, south node. is stalking the shit out of you. Flip it where it needs to go. We got twin flame and they came out in reverse. There's someone here that doesn't want you to be in a twin flame union or this is a twin flame that went rogue. I don't know. We have Chinese zodiac sign of the snake. This could be you or the person that's stalking your ass, okay? We got Taurus. You guys could have a Taurus that's stalking the shit out of you okay flip a word needs to go but someone does not want you to be with nobody else tell me more spirit yeah you could be someone here who's keeping it real and that's how you graduated something you kept it real with yourself and you kept it real with other people there's something here about your integrity this is why you're being able to pass some sort of test or go up some sort of level <sighs> And that's why you're getting a glow up that's why you're having a glow up i'm done somebody just mad at you they're stalking you <sighs> they're just angry they're angry because they can't be with you or they're angry because they can't convince you of something or bully you into something that you don't need to be in what time is it we gotta go i wasn't gonna do the shells but i'm missing the letter t in there so I'm gonna wait. What else they need to hear? We have flame. It says analyze solutions to problems, steady progress and concentration, level headedness, passionate love. You're being asked to stay level headed at this time. Do not lose your fucking temper, okay? I know you're fucking tired. 
you are not alone. A lot of fire is out here. We got flame and then we have fire. So there's someone here that's trying to put gas on the flame to make the fire bigger. Someone's trying to instigate, instigate something. Someone here could be 33 or 34 years old. Usually people who um, turn 33, you have a very significant spiritual awakening. Um, something here about like when Jesus was 33. I'm also getting like the person that wants to come towards you, your twin flame. This person views you as someone as like, um, they feel like you're their peace. You're their calm. Yeah, you're about to get some much needed information. Something here is about to be illuminated. There's light that's going to be shed on something with this lamp. <laughs> I love lamp. <laughs> okay. Watch. Wish. Wit. I can't. Wrist watch. Wealth is coming. Wealth is coming to somebody here. It's happening right on time. Your wish will come true. 100. See that? 100. Tell me more. Yeah, there's going to be new growth coming in. The hourglass keeps showing up. The sand thing. <laughs> Something here is definitely going to be leading to some sort of marriage or some sort of um, connection here for sure. This is going to be, you're about to enter some sort of new stage in your life. Okay, and I feel like it has to do with like your relationship. Okay, this is after a period of roadblocks and setbacks, okay? I love this. Someone here could be born in 1987. Hammer. Wasn't I just saying this earlier? Someone here was trying to take a hammer to a diamond, but it wouldn't. It didn't break. <laughs> it's because you, you're being supported by the divine. Okay? And, and your star family. Or something here has been written. Some here ha something here has been written in the stars for you. It's been written. This is like falls all the way back to ancient times or some shit something here about the dead sea squirrels could be of significance i once was blind and now i can see <laughs> holy spirit holy angels what's going on what else they need a horror sorry this energy drink is getting to me now holy spirit holy angels what do they need to horror we have pink tourmaline Something here about your heart chakra, or this pink tourmaline helps with your heart chakra. Someone here could be a Libra, all right? This could be you or somebody else. The affirmation says, I am constantly choosing with love what is best for my highest good. So this is what you need to do. Choose what's best for you. Listen to your heart and you will understand. Let it break upon you like a wave upon the sand, okay? Quay quay nahura. Okay, we have attracts. We have attracts love in the spiritual realm. It says helps you connect to your soul purpose in life, and it can help you release negative attachments and energy. It helps repair leakages and blockages in your auric motherfucking field. Okay, so some of you might need to work with um, pink tourmaline. Okay. What else do they need to hear at this time that might benefit them, Spirit, when it comes to these crystals, these stones? We have hollow light. I'm always so suspicious of this stone because I can never tell if it's real or fake. Um, crown chakra, okay? Um, and then we have Virgo. Someone here could be a Virgo. It says, affirmation, I am at peace and embrace the joys of life. Okay, 
says deepens meditation provides insight to past lives connects you to higher realms and helps one find their true authentic self that's interesting because i was just questioning its validity <laughs> holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more maybe so okay so if you're someone here who's very authentic there's someone who's who isn't authentic with themselves okay or with others that is questioning your authentic seat your authentic am i saying that right your authenticity there we go this person could have been saying you're inauthentic and now they're about to be exposed as being inauthentic tell me more i keep getting like someone's gonna be put to shame we have flower agate okay this works for all chakras someone here could be a gemini you could be a gemini we have sparks creativity helps you manifest transform and reach your dreams it says reminds you how supported and loved you are by the divine has seeds and flowers that represent blossoming blossoming and reaching your full potential listen y'all whoever i'm speaking to you're about to reach your full motherfucking potential okay you're about to reach your full <laughs> i was like a baby <laughs> potential it says i am capable of blossoming into my full potential okay 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 i gotta end this now i just got to go holy spirit holy angels what else do they need to hear to help them during this time what else do they need to hear to help them? We got commitment. Someone wants to come in with some form of commitment, okay? All right. Or someone wants to test your commitment. Or there's somebody here that wants to tell you they want to be all in when it comes to you. And being on the journey with you or something. We got protection at the bottom of the deck. Or you need to be mindful of what you commit yourself to when it comes to like an organization, a business, when it comes to a person. Okay. we have one last move it says you have come far on your journey keep going and you will soon see what you have accomplished it says last step almost there close okay and then we have um sacred planner or sacred traveler sorry it says there is an upcoming opportunity for you to move or travel it says enjoy the new adventure you're about to go on a new journey, child. And then we have encounter. It says an unexpected encounter will slowly alter the course of your life. Keep an open mind. There's some sort of surprise, some sort of meeting, or something by chance. Something's going to be happening by chance, but nothing's by chance. We already know this, okay? This is something that's been written for somebody in stars. What else they need to hear so we can bounce? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do you need to hear? Do, 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 fall in, da, 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 We stay fly, something high, you know this, fall in. I don't know. We got 1414. It says light up. It says, focus on your needs, desires, and hobbies. It says, everything is more accessible with a light attitude. You will be blessed with new opportunities, a new friend, or an addition to your family. It says, good vibes will speed up the process. So stay in high vibe. You got something new coming through. Tell me more spirit. Someone here about to get some sort of respect. When you come home, we got 14, or not 14, we got 17, 17. It says, drama alert. It says, take a few deep breaths and focus inward. You need time to think things over and consider your options. At this time, you must rely solely on yourself. It says, you might not believe it, but you're headed in the right direction. What appears to be a lull in activity is just a natural part of the process. So whoever I'm speaking to, you got somebody, it, it kept coming out. You got a bully or someone here that's trying to deceive you, trying to get you to go down the wrong path trying to get you off your life purpose or whatever you got going on okay do not accept certain offers from people that are giving you red flags 
or, or if something doesn't feel right, it probably ain't right, okay? You just need to be mindful of that. Because someone wants to create some sort of drama in your life. They want to, somebody here wants to create some sort of roadblocks or setbacks by coming in and appearing as if they're somebody who um, wants to help you, wants to give you some sort of leg up, okay? Be mindful of that. Because the divine is saying you could do something on your own. Listen, on my journey, for example, I had somebody like before I was, before I built my website, right? And to me, in my mind, I thought that was such a big like feat to climb because I don't know, I don't know shit about technology. I don't know shit about computers. I'm very, in my mind, I feel like I'm not very technologically advanced. Okay. So I feel like, and there was like fear attached to me actually like taking action towards like building a website and doing whatever I was supposed to do that was set into whatever, whatever I was inspired to do. The devil knows this. The devil will know. And I had someone come into my life that was that was saying that they could help me with certain things that I had a lot of fear about, if that makes sense. The thing is though, in the end of the situation, I was able to take care of it and handle it myself and do it myself, okay? Because that same person wanted to essentially bleed me dry financially. So just be careful. We have 12-12 persistence. Keep going, okay? It says, oh, happy day. An ample opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner. Take immediate action once it pops up. Of course, a lovely partnership or an epic romance is also in the cards. So your love life is going to take a shift for whoever I'm speaking to, for my singles, or for those who are getting out of toxic relationships or whatever it is. Something here is definitely going to be changing for the better a cycle is ending a new one is beginning okay and you're leveling up energetically child we got 21 21 at the bottom of the deck it says the day you're waiting for will come maintain discipline you're getting closer to your end goal there's no need to overextend yourself okay guard your energy to remain focused it will pay off it's a climb not an elevator ride it's the climb <laughs> You're gonna trust in you, okay, baby boo. This is gonna be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Goodbye. Okay,